Good morning, students. I'm going to walk you through the process of taking notes and annotating something, some sort of text. It may be a short story, it could be a poem, it could be a nonfiction text um, where you're reading someone's memoir or a narrative about their life, or it could be a newspaper article. So these are some basic ways that I want you to look at and analyze a text and I'm going to just model it for you. I'll also be sending and uploading helpful graphic organizers and helpful hints along the way so please stay tuned for that but I want to go ahead and dig into this so we don't take a lot of time but I'm actually making sure that each one of you gets a copy of the sniper it will be in your Google Classroom folder you'll see it's entitled the sniper and you're going to open this up and hopefully you will already see my writing. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through some of the annotation. And basically that's taking notes inside the article. And I'm going to show you annotations here and then annotations and what you can do with your ingenuity. So first of all, you know, just look at the, the sniper. All of you know what a sniper is. Obviously it probably has something to do with war. And I might make a comment about that. So notice I clicked over here and then just moved my cursor over and it says add a comment. So I'm going to say this probably has something to do with war. Alright, I'm going to make a comment there. So there's my first comment. The next comment that I'm going to make is about this first paragraph. Why are we doing this? This is a strategy that you will use throughout this year to become a really great reader. It's all about being a good reader, a good writer, a good listener, a good speaker. Those are the four things you're working on to improve and to really accomplish this year. You may already be fantastic. You may be at a very high level. You need to grow. So I'm pushing you for that growth. And I will see where each of you are. This is kind of a start. A baseline where I will see where you are right now at the beginning of the school year hopefully by the end of the school year it will be much better at writing reading expressing yourself at a much higher level all right let's go back to the sniper all right the long June twilight faded into night Dublin lay enveloped in darkness but for the dim light of the moon that shone through fleecy clouds casting a pale light as of approaching dawn over the streets and dark waters of the Liffey Around the beleaguered four courts, the heavy guns roared. Here and there through the city, machine guns and rifles broke the silence of the night. Spasmodically, like dogs barking on lone farms, Republicans and Free Staters were waging war. All right, sure enough, there it is. Yes. Yes. The war is occurring. Know that. So what else do we see in this? Now you're going to analyze it as scholars, as English scholars. So whenever you're looking at a piece, it's not just for reading for comprehension. Yes, obviously, that is the main component at first. But because you are learning to analyze writing and how writers write and why they write what they write and how they just make it come alive, that's where you're going to do a little bit more in-depth writing. But right here, I could say a whole lot about the use of figurative language, I could talk about the tone, I could talk about the mood of the piece, but I want you to look at the first part and it just seems like a very nice, very nice evening. At first, it, it seems like a nice evening. But then you are quickly taken into a war zone. And I may not even want to do anything more than that. Maybe that's all I want to say about that first paragraph, especially the first time I'm looking through this. Now in the sniper, I'm going to kind of give you a challenge. I want you to see the development of the character over time. So I think I'm going to up here put another comment in. Look for the development of the main character over time. So if you do that, you're going to be really focused on a particular thing. I want you to highlight 
see what words are used with that name character, what does that name character do. So for example, if I gave you a final assessment on this, a test, and I asked you to write a short essay about the development of the character throughout the short story The Sniper, you would be able to tell me what he was like in the beginning, what he was like in the middle, and then finally what he was like at the end of the story. So let's just go with that and let that be your main focus. So in this first paragraph, it doesn't really talk about anything about the sniper. You may not know that the Liffey, though, is actually a river in Dublin, Ireland. In Dublin, it tells you Dublin, Ireland. Good to know. But let's go here. Here we go. Let's go to the second paragraph. On a rooftop near O'Connell Bridge, a Republican sniper, so obviously it's between the Republicans and the Free Staters, a Republican sniper lay watching. Beside him lay his rifle, and over his shoulder was slung a pair of field glasses. His face was the face of a student, thin and ascetic, but his eyes had the cold gleam of the fanatic. They were deep and thoughtful, the eyes of a man who was used to looking at death. All right. Obviously, this is one of the characters. We don't know right now if this is the main character. Um, but we're going to call him the Republican Sniper because there might be other snipers. And the author called him the Republican Sniper. So always refer to him as the Republican Sniper. And if he happens to be the main character, then you'll, you can call him the main character alternately. So you have to, don't have to keep going the Republican Sniper, Republican Sniper. Okay, the Republican Sniper. What do we know about him now? He's young, a student. Um, cold demeanor or cold um, personality because he has seen death. How do we know that? I would say um, he's definitely the face of a student is a place to highlight. So up here you can go, hit the highlight button, maybe highlight that in yellow. His eyes, eyes had the cold gleam of the fanatic. That's definitely tell you something about his character, you know. Um, if he's a fanatic, then he's a true believer. He doesn't, he isn't easily swayed. He's, he has a, he's on a mission. And then he's a man who's used to looking at death. So this can go, now you can do that and then directly to that highlighted part, you can add a comment here. So you can add a comment about this quote. And you may want to do this because you know I want you to cite evidence. So I want you to pull words and quotes from out throughout the piece. Now this piece doesn't have any dialogue, so when I say quotes, I'm talking about anything the author has written. I gave you a little taste, so now I'm going to ask that your assignment is to go through the rest of the story, understand the story, and make sure that you pause with every paragraph or every two paragraphs and make some comments about what that sniper is doing and what you're understanding about the story. The story. If you have any questions on vocabulary, maybe you don't know what beleaguered means, then you need to be looking up, just Google it, beleaguered. So what's it mean? Easy, beleaguered. Lay siege to He's leading a relief force to aid the beleaguered city. So. You can see where that goes right along with the other part of it. All right, I'm going to keep it short. We've already gone for eight minutes. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to let you finish up. Go ahead and add your comments here, and then make sure you submit it into your Google Classroom. If you have any questions, yes, text me, call me, email me.